Anybody with me? Oh, yes! Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. That's like such a common 80s song to be played anywhere. Are you ready to get down to some 80s music today? Heck yeah, I am. Oh, nice. Because we're gonna see how well you know some of these 80s songs. Cool. Probably not gonna be successful. I hope I do well. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do okay. I like coming here and sitting down and listening to 80s music because I always get introduced some, to some new stuff. I grew up around a lot of 80s music. My parents played a lot. I just didn't know like the artist or the name. Hell yes! Is it 80s pop or rock? If it's rock, I will get every single one of them. If it's not rock, it's up in the air. I think I'm gonna do good. I always set the bar high for myself. This sounds super familiar. Oh, my dad's gonna be so disappointed in me. This is a really fun song. I just wanna use your love tonight I don't wanna lose your love tonight Yeah, I've heard this song in like movies and stuff like that. Do you know it? I don't know this song. I don't remember the title or artist. Oh my god, my friends are gonna kill me. It's totally a jam, but like I have no idea what the heck it is or who it's by. Lose your love, Rush? I don't wanna lose your love by Motley Crue? Lose your love by, it sounds like Sting's voice, but not with the police backing music. This is called Your Love by The Outfield. By The Outfield, Your Love by The Outfield. I've never heard of that band. Yeah, I've never heard of The Outfield. My dad is always playing this stuff too, so. I like, we'll hear it blasting in the kitchen for like eight days in a row, and you'll know the words, but I've never bothered to be like, oh, <laughs> who sings that? This is, yes. Yeah, this is familiar. I need a hero! Hell yeah! I'm holding on for a hero till the end of the night. And he's gotta be strong, and he's gotta be fast, and he's gotta be fresh from the fire. What movie was this from? This is like one of my mom's favorite songs ever. I know this song. This just makes you feel like pumped up. I feel like this is like what I would work out to. Do you know this one? <laughs> I don't know. I need a hero. No clue in the name. Hero by Tina Turner. I need a hero by Madonna. We're holding out for something with hero. I want to say Cyndi Lauper, but I feel like that's incorrect. This is Holding Out for a Hero by Bonnie Tyler. Is it really? It doesn't sound like her. My mom is going to kill me. Oh my god. Don't get upset. The reason I know this song is because of Shrek 2. This song was originally written and released for the soundtrack of Footloose in 1984. It can also be heard as a cover song in Shrek 2. I'm more disappointed that I didn't know that than that I didn't know the artist. That's probably where I know it from, to be honest. Yep. <laughs> I think he's riding Donkey when he's a horse, and then the giant gingerbread man falls into the moat. Oh, that, that scene broke my heart. Oh man, see, the 80s had some good shit. These voices sound familiar. I know the song. I don't think I've ever heard of this one. I like this one. I can imagine driving like in an open top car and just like hair blowing in the wind and like listening to this and jamming with your friends. Do you know it? I don't think I've ever heard that song. I have no idea. I don't know this song. I don't think I've ever heard this song. I don't know, the only band that comes to mind is Foreigner. They sound kind of like Kiss. I don't remember ever hearing this. I'm gonna guess it's Kiss though. This is Lick It Up okay. by Kiss. Okay, I know Kiss. I don't think I've ever heard this song though. My Kiss knowledge is not extensive. I don't think this is one of the few songs that I know. Kiss is awesome. I can't remember a lot of their song names, 
but they're sick. Here are two photos of Kiss, with and without their signature makeup. In 1983, with the release of Lick It Up, Kiss did their first music video without makeup to prove that they could cut it on music alone. I mean, they, did, they look like rock stars both ways. They belong this way. This is what they, this is what Kiss is. That's so cool. I, I feel like I've only seen them with their makeup on. That's kind of cool, because I mean, when you think of Kiss, you think of like these guys right here with like their, all their makeup and stuff like that. Gimmicks are one thing, but music is what you're really going for. So that's what you want to have most important. Like when I think of Kiss, I think of the face makeup and all the wacky stuff. They would want me to be like, yeah, I love their music. That sounds familiar. Ooh, heaven is a place on earth. Mmm. That song has been in the soundtrack of everything, but who sings it. Do you know this one? No. I don't know who it is, but I like it. Yeah, I've heard that for sure. I don't know who that is. Heaven is the song title. Is that Blondie? Heaven is a place on earth. Madonna? Heaven is a place on earth by Blondie. Heaven is a place on earth by, I want to say Cyndi Lauper again. Not every female in the 80s is Cyndi Lauper. This is called Heaven is a Place on Earth. It's by Belinda Carlisle. She was originally the lead singer of the Go-Go's. Okay, nice, nice. I've heard of Go-Go's. I don't know, I've never heard of her. That's like such a common 80s song to be played anywhere. Like I still hear that on the radio today. What's the song title? <gasps> oh, got it, got it. I like it. <laughs> I've never heard this. Oh God, it's so much harder to cheat when I can't understand what they're saying. What was that? It seemed like all the instruments were playing something like a different song than the singer was singing. So do you know this one? No, I've never heard that before. Not at all. I don't even know who the artist. I've I've actually never even heard the tune before. Is it called Everybody Wants Some? Everybody Wants Some by Van Halen. Everybody Wants Some by Van Halen, yes. This is Everybody Wants Some. Uh-huh. And it's by Van Halen. Oh, yeah, I've never really listened to Van Halen. That was Van Halen. Not gonna lie, don't know a lot about Van Halen either. Wow, rock sounded so different back in the 80s. I would have liked to go to that show. <laughs> it sounded so fun. Oh, yes! This makes you want to dance. Maybe Shakira for a day. Super fun. This is like the ultimate beach party. Like you can just imagine everyone dancing around in hula skirts and like doing a bunch of crazy dance moves. Do you know it? I don't know. I have no clue. Conga by, I don't know. Conga? I don't even know. <laughs> Help. That is Conga by Gloria Stefan. I love, I love that song. Like I jam so hard to this song. This is Conga okay. by Gloria Estefan and Miami Sound Machine. See, I've heard of Gloria Estefan, and I've heard this song before, I just didn't know who it was. That song is classic. I've heard it all the time. I totally thought that song came out of the 90s, though. I love it, and it has that kind of beat that just makes you want to salsa, makes you want to, like, makes you want to dance. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling nostalgic. Oh. Diana! That means Michael Jackson. Oh! Yeah, this is, this is my boy Michael. Awesome. Oh, I just, the voice, it makes me happy. So do you know this one? That, okay, that for sure was Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. I don't know what the title is. I can't say. 
I've heard that Michael Jackson song before. Dirty Diana, Michael Jackson? Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. That was Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. This is Dirty Diana by Michael Jackson. Yeah. Michael Jackson has a very specific way of singing. I've listened to like every single one of his albums like eight billion times. In 1984, Michael Jackson won eight Grammys, the highest amount ever won by one person in a single year. That's, yeah, he's the man. That's amazing. That just shows how good he really was. Eight f***ing Grammys. That guy. Musical genius he is. When he died, he died like being the king of pop, like for a reason, because he was so good at what he did. Thanks for watching us test our 80s music knowledge on the React channel. Don't forget to subscribe, we have new shows every day. If you like this episode, then hit that like button. Hey guys, Alyssa here, a producer from the React channel. I'm loving these 80s songs. If you want to let me know what songs you want to hear, it might show up in the next episode. See you next time.